GTA 6 has been announced and it comes in 2025. I'm excited for the entire GTA community as we've been waiting over 10 years for the next game to be announced and soon we will have it. With that being said, there are, there are some features that we would like to see in the new game that Rockstar should 100% have and I think it would benefit the player base a lot more. Some of the features we had in previous games, I would like to see them come back and some of these features have are completely new to the series or even things that Rockstar can improve upon. Before we go any further, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications so you know my post and let's jump into this one. Number one, I do believe we should bring back the fitness slash gym aspect of the game um, and actually have it affect your player stats. GTA uh, San Andreas had a system where you could eat and work out to bulk up CJ and it was a phenomenal feature. It gives players the ability to work towards certain looks for their character, certain appearances, etc. Additionally, I think you should allow um, this would allow you or this should allow you to have certain stat buffs based on your character's fitness level. For example, if I'm a buffier, bulkier dude, then I should have it should take me less punches to knock an NPC out number two having pets if i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie to y'all bro i want to be a florida man i want to have an alligator and florida florida man has to be in this gta especially since gta 6 is gonna be based on miami i want to be able to buy pets and moreover i want to have the ability to tame or keep or capture wild animals and have them in a dwelling so for example in my house or apartment um, I would like to have access to these pets to accompany me on missions or accompany us on missions and help ag achieve objectives. For example, I've had a dog. It could help me take down bad guys or it could help me sniff out maybe drugs or something that I'm trying to find. And I think that that would be a cool feature to add to this new game that, you know, would be it would be an interesting system for all of us. The next one. Um, I would like to the ability to choose whatever apartment or places we get to live and have the ability to customize it. We have a system like this in GTA Online where we can buy property and have the ability to customize it to our liking. Maybe we can have more customization so that no player has the same combinations of stuff in their apartments. Um, there, are, there are rumors that there are going to be a lot of buildings in a game that will be enterable and I think that adding this feature will add to the immersion of the game. Now number four. With the acquisition of CFX under um, Rockstar, we should be able to, after a few months of maybe playing the, the, the normal GTA 6 game, we should have access to our own GTA servers that we can really do some immersive roleplay. We can go ahead and change it around however you like. And really and truly, 5M communities have carried GTA 5 for the last couple of years. I know a lot of people still play GTA Online, but a lot of those may be because they don't they don't have PCs to play um, 5M or anything. I've heard of a lot of people who've gotten a PC and gotten off console just so that they can play roleplay. And I think that having a GTA servers and even extending that to be able to do it on console, I know that it might be hard to do it on console, but if you could extend it to do it on console, we will have such a bigger player base in terms of the RP space. I think it would be a huge disservice for the, to the GTA community to not allow modding and other creativity with the GTA platform and change how we want to play. Now, the final thing I'm thinking about is, or at least for this list, is have the decisions we make in our character affect the storyline that that character proceeds to run down as we progress through the campaign or the main game, the storyline. Um, I do not believe that they should restrict it um, just to those just to just those decisions. Let's say that. But what I mean is that every safe copy you play, you're bound by that decision. So, for example, if I chose to kill this person here, there should be ramifications for that later down the line within that campaign storyline. But I don't think that they should restrict it to that because I could go on to another safe game and choose not to kill this person. We had that something similar in GTA 5. And I want to be able to go to another save game and make a different decision and explore what the game has to offer when you make certain decisions. And I think this will lead to content creators being able to promote the game even more. They can do challenge videos. They can do all other forms of content based on the different decisions that their character makes. These are all things that these are the top five things that I have on my list that I wanted to that I would like to see in GTA 6. If you guys agree with me, hit that like button and leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see. 
and um let me know if i miss anything if you think any of my ideas are a bad idea and let me know also if you want me to do a second part i might have five more things that i can go ahead and say for without a shadow without that i want in gta 6 but this is just a nice little video for you guys so let me know what you guys think and uh i'm out y'all later